Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever. Um, hope you guys are doing well today. Today, um, whether you're watching it on today or in the future, they're timeless, but today is a special day because today is the uh, new moon in Aries solar eclipse, right? April 8th, 2024. And um, it's a it's a new start. It's a new fresh start. Um, some people are equating it with the previous uh, eclipse cycle. Sorry, Mercury retrograde. There's a lot going on right now. These planetary alignments with what time it is, right? What time is it? It's time to start anew. It's time to start anew. A lot of people are also equating this um, with the eclipse cycle in 2017, which came over a similar track of land, uh, meaning the continental United States, Canada, and um, the following path. So um, we might go back to what it was we were doing in 2017 during that eclipse. It was in August. Um, I was at a conference, coming back from a conference, um, and that whole thing set a crazy journey in my life. What did it do for you? Are you still in contact with that? Did that thing teach you anything, right? All right, and it probably came to a close um, or was dwindling down or changing Right? And um, started to fizzle down, or the lesson started to be learned, wrapping it up in the last six months. The uh, full moon in Libra, lunar eclipse that we had, talked a lot about our relationships with others, our relationships with other people. Um, how we view beauty, how we view love, right? This is the new moon in Aries. So I've pulled a couple cards. We're going to talk about that. We're going to start. We really liked this 222, this 222 heal, uh, healing fork. That's what they are now. They're healing forks. So let's begin by like a little bit of a sound wash, hey? We were doing that at 2.22 on the clock. Fresh new beginnings, fresh new starts. So I've pulled um, some Moonology cards, very common. A lot of people have been using these for a very long time. And we're just going to hit some of the highlights for the new moon. Today is the new moon, right? Um, I'll see it when I believe it, right? A new start is on its way. You will soon, soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. Forget about the past. The new moon marks the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon. It's a dark and veiled time when the moon is invisible and a time of rebirth. It is a time that witches do their work, making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle, an intensely magical time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds. That is today. It is so profound. It is so profound that it is in the first, the new moon, starting anew, in Aries, the first cycle of the uh, sign of the zodiac. All right. Don't even think about giving up. Do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. Okay. Um, you need a 12 month plan. A friend of mine was just talking about six month, 12 month plans and whether, you know, it makes it more feasible to achieve these, uh, like, not short-term goals like the week, but giving yourself a reasonable time expectancy to manifest, right? Um, and a, a new male is coming into your life. Ooh, so this could be um, a friend, a leader, a boss, right? A partner of some kind, whether that be um, business, familial, friendship, romantic, whatever that is, you know, and also lean on your masculine side. This is talking about don't give up. The new moon, right? It's time to go, go, go. Aries energy, right? Let that seed penetrate the soil. Come on through to the new light. It's coming in and it's showing us a wash, right? We did a sound wash. We're feeling that wash. It's time to get going. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. Um, 
So the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 or 13 new moons of the year. If you're committed to working with lunations, then the new moon in Aries is the right time to start. Drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies it's an ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting intentions. All right, new moon, new moon in Aries. But it is also a new moon eclipse. Right. Oh, never mind the past. Again, with let go of the past, we're moving forward, right? Life evolves every single day. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. It is an important turning point in your life. I'm telling you what, the gates are opening and it is time to walk out into the new. I love this. The new New moon eclipses are among, amongst the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It is as though you are headed in one direction, probably being guided by your ego, and then the divine comes, the goddess or spirit, to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go. Regardless of whether or not there's been a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card, it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds. I'm telling you what, guys, like I felt I've been feeling this energy a lot lately. Um, I have uh, a lot of a lot of Aries in my chart, a lot of Aries. And we love the fresh, we love the new, new. We love to go, go, go and try something else, right? And also a very um, Aries trait is when we get to a point where we're done, we're done, we're done. Nada, adios, right? Moving on to the next. So we're really, really good at starting things. And we're also pretty good at abandoning things. That's not always the best option. But right now it's saying clear the slate, let go of those things, leave them behind, cut your cords from them, tell them thank you for everything that you've taught me. You know, we can't move forward with resentment. We're not leaving them behind because we're disgusted with something. We aren't thinking about what was in the past. That's been eclipsed. This is all about moving forward, going toward something, knowing what is um, for us, seeing the light and moving towards that portal. Let this be that time for you. Let this time awash us new. This is the Tarot of the Moon Garden. My daughter gave me this one year for my birthday and I use it on full moons and new moons and new moon eclipses, spirit. Guardians, ancestors, would you like for us to know today? I absolutely love it. The chariot. Success. Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times success. Moving toward our new adventures. Having our head and our heart on the same page. Right? And what is this in the background? What is this? Oh, that looks kind of like an eclipse happening right there. To say what we've left behind is gone. What we're moving toward is our is our new foundation. It is our compass point. It is that star that we are going and moving toward and we are moving toward it successfully, victoriously. The time is nigh, right? The number is seven and the sign of cancer, right? That analytical assessment of what home is to us, right? And understanding it in both our heart chakra and our crown is here for us we have the six of cups and the three of swords yeah and it came out in the reverse okay it came out in the reverse because we're recovering from things that may have happened to us in childhood we're leaving behind those things that were piercing to our souls and this is also about recovery maybe you were recovering from an actual i mean when i see the four of swords and the three of swords obviously it it's um recovery from betrayal betrayal and the recovery from but it's also like physical surgeries like when we see these these sorts piercing into someone that could be you know an actual medical procedure or something that needed to be physically removed from cut out of our lives right and sometimes that's very painful and anybody who's been through any kind of surgical procedure knows that the recovery is painful but it's necessary to let go of these things right the the old soul ties that that those feelings of nostalgia that bring you to a place of sadness as opposed to a place of wonder and joy right we'll stop lingering there if we live in the past that's depression if we live in the future that's anxiety we have to be centered and present to be 
in our calm state, right? And to really see what's going on around us. And we are victoriously moving past these old things, leaving them behind. It could be friendships. It could be relationships. It could just be starting anew on how we view those things, those individuals, right? And their influence on us rather than being pained by it, um, recovered from it and understanding and taking those lessons with us, packing them up on the chariot. I also want to know that these are minor arcana. They're pip cards, these are on the daily, right? Things that have influence over our day. This is a major arcana, the big secrets. The things that have major influence, major impact over long-term um, big aspects of our lives. These are life-changing events. Allow that to happen today. It's saying move forward. Move forward. Can we just get one more? Five of Swords in the reverse, you guys. I don't even know what else we need to know about that. King of Staves, there's your there's your active Aries masculine energy right there. It, taking charge, moving forward with confidence mm -hmm. and bravery. I want to say bravery because making these types of changes, making these types of gentle changes, right? Active changes, severe changes that aren't... Um, it's like severe and drastic, but in a good way. It's like when that tower comes down and it's positive, right? Remember that the tower is driven by Aries as well. So um, be where you are when you're there, right? Be where you are when you're there. We're going to get a um, karma card to find out where we have to address this inner, inner mind, body, and spirit, right? Okay, so in spirit, it's about your faith. This is the 12th house. Wow. Wow, what we were leaving behind, right? And having faith, faith um, in your mental, your hidden tendencies. What's holding you back, right? What are those things in, inside of your um, intellect that keep you swimming, right? Those are the, some of the things that also need to be let go. Remember, these are, these are physical things. These are things in our exterior world, but these are things within us, and that is the most important thing, or else everything is just going to come like a dragnet, come along with it, right? Large institutions or overwhelming events. Yeah, maybe some of you have um, really gotten past something big, something really big, large institutions, schooling, church, governmental, you know, whatever that might have been. It could have been a large group or society of people, right, that you have overcome or that you've evolved through or beyond um, and, and getting past that. Wow, I'm going to pull um, another one too. Your faith is what is going to move you beyond these hidden tendencies and get you out of overwhelming situations or allowing you to leave them in, in the past, right? And then we have in Scorpio. Wow, 12th house and in Scorpio. And I just talked about that tower card on a day like today, when we're talking about leaving behind what was, letting it decay, letting it die, and moving toward the new thing. This is the death and re rebirth process, right? And it says an extraordinary power of prayer. Look, your faith and the extraordinary power of prayer, spirit, whoever it is you pray to, right? However you choose to pray to them. Meditation, is a form of prayer. Divination, what we're doing right now, is a form of prayer. We're interacting with spirit, with our own spirit, and with the greater consciousness, right? And with the, the bigger the, the bigger house up there, all right? And it says, um, the highest and lowest aspects of the hidden tendencies. You also have hidden tendencies that are really, really positive. Probably saved your ass a few times. Probably helped you get out of a some trouble, maybe helped you heal from something, maybe helped you resolve situations, right? People said, I never knew you had it in you. But you do. And it's your hidden, the positive aspects of those hidden tendencies. Have faith in those. Have faith in yourself. Those are God-given gifts. Those are talents bestowed upon you via the lessons that you've learned. Use them, right? Um, control the situation and large institutions, overwhelming events. Maybe you felt that something else greater than you had control over your situation and it's time for you to take control over yourself. Leave those things behind, right? Create a new situation where you are in charge. I love this because when I picked up, I just want to show you guys that when I picked up the King of Staves, the star was under it. Wish, 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 make your wish and go forward.
right? Go forward. Look at that third house. By making the right connections, right? The idea in question and then get your ideas going. So now that we've assessed all of that and we've left it all behind and we're in this point of like the new, new and where we're going, right? Where are we driving to? We know what we're leaving behind. We know where we've been. We know what's in all those weird drawers and closets. We know what's happening there. We know all the people that live there and what they eat and how they smell and what that's like. All right. Now we're moving towards something new. We've learned everything we need to know from that place, from those folks, from that situation. Now it's time to move into the new endeavor and we need to have that compass point, that star, so we can see where we're going and get there with confidence. Right. Get your ideas going. The time is now. The time is now. Let's get a Queen of the Moon Oracle. Queen of the Moon Oracle. Oh, Moon Goddess Luna. What is it you would like to tell us? Balance. <laughs> Balance. Absolutely. And I want you to see she's got her head in the clouds, her feet on the ground. Right? Weighing all of those things, all of those different aspects of the cycles. Right? And holding our center right for those for those seeds to bloom for those things to come out the number 19 so interesting because with the queen of the moon oracle the number 19 in tarot is the sun balance balance remain balance and protection you're safe you're safe you're safe to get going you know have trust and faith in in the things that you've learned and in yourself and that you've made it this far for a reason because you have more to do Right? And now is that time to start that new, new, more to do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to get this and then we're going to close out with a, um, with a crystal. With crystal. Let's just get some little, little notes for us. Uh, share your cares. Share your cares. Oh, this is like two women sitting on a step having a conversation by water. You know? Let, let the people in your life in on your new, all right? Let them know why you're changing. Let them know what's changing and do it in a gentle and joyful manner. Share your joy with them. Share your ecstaticness. I just heard ecstatic. It's okay to take your time. It's okay to take your time. You know, when we're starting off on this new journey, this is the new, new. Remember, we talked about the other one going all the way back to 2017. We have time. We have time to make this new path, to set out on this new path, and to do it diligently. And all good things take time. So share your cares. Let other people in on what it is you're doing and where you're going so that they can help you. And join in. Maybe they have common goals, too. If everyone is going through this right now, who knows? What new people maybe have had these same types of um, revelations and these same types of um, understandings and lessons and they're here on their new path to join you and create something huge communally. I think it's all of us, you guys. I think we're just doing another like, you know, like uh, scramble in the pot here and, and just kind of reorganizing ourselves. Everyone is going through this. Allow them that too, that great expansion. It's okay to do what you've been wanting to do. And it's this awesome chick on a giraffe. It's okay to do what you want to do. Please do. If it's good for you, if it's growing you, if it's expanding you, if it's helping the people around you by also, even if it's just by you doing it and it allows someone else to do the same thing for themselves, that's a gift. That's a gift. You know, let just let everyone be where they are. Let this organ reorganization happen. Stay centered, right? The cherry victory, all your yeses. Yes, 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 and another yes. Work easy. Allow yourself to be in the flow and enjoy what you do. Exactly. Uh, exactly. All right, so we're going to get a crystal. I hope... Um, this has been helpful for you guys. It's really been helpful for me just thus far. What kind of crystal do we need to set off on our new adventures for our new moon, solar eclipse, and Aries 2024? That's that's a lot. But it's carnelian, so, I mean, follow your gut. 
go with your gut what it is a cherry red uh, chalcedony used by ancient Romans in signet rings wax doesn't stick to it and by modern folk to ward off insecurities carnelian's fiery energy helps us helps spin us out of fear thought cycles and into action who needs it the understimulated anybody to looking to get acquainted with their fears hello fear my name is stargazer we have some beautiful work to do together now stfu and let's do this where to put it wherever you want to inject some passion and confidence i.e your palate or your pelvis hey right um and when to use it when you find your creativity or uh, libido on sleep mode go with your gut keep in mind too the the libido is the center of creation right your solar plexus chakra this is talking about getting getting it out go go with your gut do this thing don't be afraid all right adventuring as i say that adventuring show off your sparkle a shimmering adventuring the good luck stone has a translucent quartz containing particles that create a glittery effect called appropriately adventure adventure sense its heart-centered happy-go-lucky vibes are a reminder that this life on earth experiment is supposed to be fun who needs it melancholic inhabitants of ruts and funks anyone with a side hustle where to put it put it in um in your pocket on poker night whenever you encounter people places and things hell bent to bring you down to the gutter level so keep these two stones on you we got two more but um yeah keep this one in your pocket at all times will bring you luck and now when to use it when you find yourself in a crisis of confidence and it's time to wake up clean up and re-up your shine show off your sparkle adventuring Ooh, lumerian quartz escape your mind lumerian quartz is identifiable by its bluish by its blushing hue and ladder-like horizontal grooves that climb up its face. Its name is a shout out to Lemuria, a fabled lost continent whose highly evolved inhabitants, some far out folks insist, now live under Mount Shasta in California. Who needs it? Anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts? Hmm, where to put it? Lumerians are like wands. Put them at the body parts friends, and other crystals that need more juice. Hmm, when to use it. Whenever someone or something you love needs a zap of healing energy, awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with Lumerian Quartz. Escape your mind. Wow. These are, these are. I mean, four jumped out and they're speaking to the reading, are they not? And then Howlite. Howl and the moon. All right. Howlite is also known as white turquoise. It's all about reveling in simplicity. Often the real power exists in what's left out. See Japanese aesthetics, Swedish interiors. Howlite's dreamy slate cleaning energy helps you discern exactly what you don't need so that you can train your focus on exactly what you do need. Ah, oh, feng shui your mind. All right, make sure those corners are open, right? Light passing through and all of your thoughts are facing the appropriate direction. That's what I'm getting from this, right? Who needs it? Overstimulated minimalists living in a maximalist world. Where to put it? Wherever you need some breathing room. Mm. And when to use it? When you need a break from the never-ending onslaughts of DMs, meeting requests, trending stories, less is more, none is most. How light can help organize your headspace. Organize your headspace. Escape your mind. Show off your sparkle. And go with your gut. Mm. that being said i hope that was helpful for you thank you so much for being here thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons thank you for being on this journey of self-betterment and uh thank you for coming back next time i hope you guys have a beautiful day enjoy the eclipse